Good morning, uh, my name is Rachel. Um, this is um, an easy tutorial for making faux cigarette cards like this. Um, I have a series of tutorials on how to use up little bits and pieces of scrap. Um, they're all around the five to ten minute mark, aimed for people who do junk journaling, scrapbooking, creative journaling, paper crafts, that kind of thing. Um, nice and easy to do um, and uses up some of the random bits of scrap that we keep that we want to do something with, but because they're small, we don't know what to do with. So as you can see, this is the main one that I am using as an example. So that's a play of cigarettes card. And there's one I've made where I just took <coughs> that image and I used um, just some random text from a piece of paper. I just went through and took words and phrases I liked. And so that one says the aforementioned hair salon. Now, I don't mind that it's a bit weird and it doesn't make any sense. But if you want things to make more sense, then obviously pick words you think suit your image more. So this one, I've got the dancer Isadora. And that one, I have Chicago heiress. And these were just little images that I had that I wanted to do something with, but they were on scraps, so I wasn't sure what to do with. And this has used them up perfectly. Now, I like writing space in my journal, so I have left them blank. So you could either stick them down as they are on a page, or you could get some very fine, possibly even smaller than that text, and stick a rectangle of that on the bottom, on the back, sorry, if you wanted. Um, because as you can see, there is some text on this one. Right, so what you need is you need a piece of white card. You could use white paper if you were just going to stick it down, but if it's going to be something you tuck in, then I would recommend using card. Um, you need to find um, a book page or type some stuff out on um, paper that you then print out. Um, and as you can see, I've just, there's a bit where I cherry picked and there too, just reading through and seeing what phrases I liked. Um, then you need to have your scrap image um, and this can be a, a great way of going through and just using up not tons and tons of scrap but using up a lot of the images that you've kept if they're small enough to use for this kind of project. So oh, and also what I've done with the edges of these is I have distressing them. Um, I have used antique linen um, because I know you've got like vintage photo, which is a darker brown, but I felt if I used a brown, it would it would just be too strong. Whereas I think the the yellow fadedness of the antique linen um, has just worked better. But again, your choice. If you wish to distress it in brown or blue or pink or whatever, excellent. Go to it. These are the measurements I worked out for the background of the cigarette card. I've done them in inches and also centimetres. Um, I've done one for portrait image. Um, and the reason why there's a difference for portrait and landscape is I've made it slightly different so that you've got a bit more space to put in a bit of text at the bottom there. And with the landscape again, I've made it so you've got a bit more text, a bit more space to put in text along the bottom of that. But if you don't like following measurements, just cut whatever you like. Um, Work out the dimensions that work for you. If you've got a specific um, image that you want to use, cut around that, play with that. You do not have to use these. This is just if you like a guide when you're making your first couple of pieces before you then go off and do whatever you like with it. So I've already pre-cut my card. I've already pre-cut my piece. And this, I think, was from a, an illustration about being on a cruise ship. And I've also picked the text I want which is a series, I don't know if you can see that, a series of glittering love affairs. Okay, lovely. And in order to keep these tutorials short, this is why I try and avoid doing lots and lots of cutting on them. Um, because if you've got lots and lots of time to sit and watch a 40 minute tutorial, excellent that's lovely but I quite often find I don't have that time and sometimes I find myself fast forwarding to get to like the uh the meat of the tutorial <laughs> as it were um just because time for me is, is shorter just because I've got lots of other stuff on the go okay I'm using a yoohoo glue stick you can use whatever you like if you are using um 
wet glue just bear in mind it may warp the card um, and you could use double-sided tape if you didn't want to use glue double-sided tape would work fine for that and that as long as you cut it small enough so this would be a good project if you've got lots of double-sided tape that you haven't really used in a while and want to use up okay and now just gonna distress ink the edges And there you go that's done now it may be that you don't want to use i mean the page here is a little bit gray that doesn't bother me at all i don't need it to be white 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 however if that kind of thing does annoy you then obviously pick something that's exactly the same color or print something off um with a printer or even a, you can't really use a typewriter because you can't change the size on typewriters but you know what i mean so anyway i hope you found this really simple tutorial helpful that inspires you to indulge in some creativity and use up some of that lovely fun scrap you've been keeping you want to use it you love the images but they're too small for anything else i'm on instagram details below so do tag me if you have a go at this it would be really fun to see um, what kind of cigarette cards you make Okay, hope you have a good rest of the day. Bye.